channel for physics. Please subscribe my channel. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Physics Partner. Today I brought a video especially for students who are interested in stellar objects and the teachers who are related to physics or someone who is interested in astronomy or astrophysics. So what is this application? How can you utilize it in the classroom? Let's explore it. So you are somewhere in the strange place. Let's explore the universe. So if you start moving around, you can see you are near a lot of stars around you. So let us explore this tool and see how can we use it and what we can explore with the help of this tool. So let us go for, let's say I'll go back and you can see a bigger view and let us try explore the stellar objects around us. So you can see, uh, let us go for a moon. So you can go in any star near you or so let us go for a moon right now and you can go and go closer and make a big view and clear zoom in with very very high resolution so you can go and explore that not only this you can get information about magnitude distance radius visibility and so on so that that's really amazing let us explore more and see more stellar objects i found a strange object let us go closer and see what is this wow it's look like a milky way and you can see there is M32 and M10 so that you can explore more and you can zoom in a lot. So not only this, there are really good options I would like to share. You can see it's more than a 360 view. You can go around, you can find the direction, for example, the south, the west, the north and the east accordingly. Not only this, you, you can go and find any strange stellar object and you can go and find details about it it's just click on that and you can zoom in amazingly okay so you have uh, different options to go through and explore everything if you are a teacher you can assign as the students to find and explore something so let us quickly discuss some tools about it so there is a view setting first of all you can only go for a milky way or dss or a meridian line or so on you can view only one milky way or you can explore more so this will cover all absorbable universe around us another good feature is a planet tonight so you can click over there and with the help of this you can find out the planet visibility right now at the current moment like what you can see very clearly at what time so this is really amazing and you can share with the students let me explore more so you can go and make your own account if you want to explore more you can create an account and you write your name let's say i'm writing teaching partner and you can write your last name your email password and sign up so you can sign up with an account so you can explore more i'm not going to sign up now okay let's explore more tools you can make it a full screen which is already there you can make it a night mode wow and similarly you can go for deep sky objects so you can watch the deep sky object not only this you can open the grid equatorial grid also and you can locate your stellar objects Similarly, you can use one more grid is available as with your grid. You can see it there. So if you want to explore more, you can go and you can use these grids as a reference. Atmosphere also, you can check how it is that current atmosphere. You can make a constellations art around it, which is the bee of the prehistorical people. So you can use that also. And finally, constellations. So you can check the different zones of different stellar objects. It's in a huge place to visit and explore a lot. Very interesting, free of cost, and you can utilize it in your lessons and you can assign it to your students. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And thank you very much for your time. And please must try it and don't hesitate to write a comment about it. And take care of yourself. See you in the next video. Goodbye.